How did you fall in love with harness racing? Uh, for me, it wasn't very hard. Uh, I fell in love with my first pony. He was terrible, but I still loved him. And, uh, you know, the first time I went to the racetrack and, uh, you know, the starting gate and, and wa hot walking the horses, and I was hooked right away, right away. The horses. My grandfather always had horses, and uh, I just like the horses. Basically, when I was younger, a kid growing up, my family had riding horses, so I always uh, looked after horses and rode them and showed them. Uh, quarter horses, palominos, that type of thing. And then at one point, I, uh, I just uh, met some friends that were involved in harness racing, and I just thought, if it was possible to make a living uh, working with horses, you, you couldn't beat that. Going back to the Cam Fella days, I think I was two or three years old, but he was a horse basically from my hometown, Stouffville, and uh, I've just been around it all my life ever since then, and my dad started training in the 80s, and you know, growing up around the farm, it, you can't help but fall in love with it and, and get it addicted to it, so uh, it's been with me my whole life pretty well. I guess the competition of, uh, of, of winning, and that my parents took me when I was young in Quebec City, uh, and right away I had to decide what I wanted to do when I was 16 or something and it appeared fun to drive and, and, and win and sit on a race bike, I guess. Well, since I was a kid, I was, I was pretty much born, since I was born I got to come to the track and after, like when you're, I guess when you're born into it and you're around it all the time, it's tough to get away from and especially I'm on a roll right now so it's, it's a tough thing to do, you know, when you're making money at it and, and you love doing it, it's not like going to work so it's a lot of fun. Well, I'm a fourth generation harness racer uh, from PEI, my great grandfather and, and grandfather and father and sister and uncles and cousins and, and so on. So um, I was introduced to it at a very young age and uh, I kind of got the bug uh, right around 15 or 16 and, and I started to, you know, I started to want to drive and, and uh, the rest is history. Harness racing has been in my family ever since I could ever remember on both sides, so it's kind of just been passed on and I don't think I had much a shot at doing anything else. My family goes back a long way. Um, you know, my, 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 uh, my dad's uncle was Jim Keeling that owned Orangeville Raceway and the raceways in British Columbia. So they had Dominion Motor Stables years ago and, and my dad, you know, he used to go out and hang around and I kind of followed along and, and I just kind of got the bug. and. Um, I went away to McMaster University and, and uh, I was there about three weeks and realized I was wasting my time and my parents' money. So uh, um, at that point I realized this is probably what I need to be doing. My father bought a farm with 40 horses, centerbreds on it, so <laughs> it, it, was, uh, it just happened. My grandfather was my hero. Uh, I was stuck as close to him as I could and he had racehorses all my life. and. Uh, raced back in the days when all we had was one day fair meets to race at and uh, I just followed along with them and the days when it took two hours to cool a horse out after a race and uh, we'd stop every every supper time at a restaurant and get a hot beef or a hot turkey sandwich and that was the highlight of the race meet. And I think that was 65 cents for that hot beef sandwich back in those days. Uh, I was in my family blood as I grew up. My grandfather, my father. My dad, my dad had did that as a hobby. So uh, probably started going to the races when I was five or six years old in Sherbrooke, Quebec. Uh, actually, my uncle uh, had one horse. He was a fireman, and uh, he had us uh, introduced to harness racing on the weekend. I guess by default, I, I grew up in a in a harness racing family. My father was uh, made a living at it. Um, my uncle Mike, he he raced all over the place for years. Um, but really, I, I grew up close to the track here in Charlottetown, and uh, just, just up the road here, there's a, a guy, Joe O'Brien's brother, Cloud O'Brien. He, he had a farm just probably a quarter of a mile from the track, very close to my house, and I spent all my, all my time and all my days there. Couldn't, I, uh, I couldn't get out of school quick enough to get to Cloud's farm, and you know I spent a heck of a lot more time there than I did probably at my father's barn or or anywhere else at the track, so that's that's where my passion for the game came from. The first time I got into the barns in the back stretch, I, I was hooked. Grade five project, I had to go to the barn and wash gear and all that, and I just couldn't wait to jog, and the guy made me wash so much gear and so much gear, and then eventually I got to jog, and I just fell right in love with it. Well, I was almost born in it, you know, like, uh, 
we, yeah, I remember going to school and coming back and uh, going right to the barn. So, uh, you know, it was real easy. I pretty much grew up in it. My parents had horses. We always had horses around, so I just got into it that way. Just grew up with it through my parents, and that's how I got into it. And... I guess it's just in the blood. Uh, I kept going down to help my daddy, and we were just, uh, just feeding at night, and uh, I kind of caught the bug at a young age and been here ever since. Well, I was, like I said, born into it, you know, and it was just, just something I loved from when I was a little kid, and, you know, just carried with me the rest of my life. I remember actually the other day I was looking through a, a journal I made when I was in kindergarten and I could hardly, my spelling was kind of tough to handle, but every page was either hockey or harness racing. My dad finished third or whatever and um, I guess just, just through that I was always just, just interested in it and you know I was, I've been a sports guy my whole life and um, obviously because my family was like integrated into it, I, I kind of fell in love with it through that. Well just my dad, just hanging around the horses since I was about four years old, just kind of came on with the, you know, didn't know anything else. <laughs> I met a man, his name is Michael, my sweetie of 25 years, and our first date was at Sportsman's Park, July 1st, 1988. Believe it or not, I was fortunate enough that um, I was introduced to it through my mother getting married to my stepfather. Uh, it's been in my family my whole life. My mom, my mom's father did it. My dad's family did it, so just kind of grew up in it. I grew up with it through uh, through my family. It's uh, my grandparents were into it. My dad, and my mom, they were all into it. My brothers. So it's uh, I just been. I grew up around at the racetrack, and uh, and it's just been one thing led to another, and just brought me here. Through my grandfather. My grandfather's always had race horses, and I was always tagging along with him to the track, to the training track, to the races, and it just it was something I had to do. I've been around here since I was a kid. My family was involved in it, so I just just kind of fell into it, and here I am. I always went to the track with uh, my parents every weekend to watch the races, and always liked the horses, so just fell in love that way. Uh, probably just like a lot of people anyway. I guess um, my dad had horses, and we, my grandpa had horses, and you just grow up with them, and it's just all we did after school and stuff like that. I've been around horse racing my whole life. Uh, my mom and dad had a hobby horse farm home. My mom was a photographer, still is, at the racetrack in Charlottetown. So uh, it's, I've been around it my whole life. It was horse racing and baseball right through high school, and then I dropped baseball, and, and then I left and come up here. So it's, it's been in my family's blood since I was born.